Hey guys, so the front bumper camera has always been a debatable topic ever since Tesla Vision was first introduced and now with the high fidelity park assist system that Tesla is bringing with the holiday update, we're all wondering the exact same thing. Is the lack of the front bumper camera going to be an issue? Since the introduction of the Cybertruck, a lot of us were really curious as to what this front bumper was really there for. Ever since the introduction of the Cybertruck, a lot of us have been really curious of what the front bumper camera was really for and a lot of us were curious as to whether this removal of it on the Model 3 Highlands is a big enough deal for it to play a part of Tesla Vision. Since then, we started noticing Tesla playing around with the different type of sensors and their placements on the car. The ultrasonic sensors have been officially removed from all Teslas, including those in countries such as Australia, where they were actually delivering it with the parking sensors up until this very point. Then we have the high definition radar that made its way back into the Model S and X, where it was removed a few years back. We don't know at this point, and Tesla doesn't even know if it's gonna eventually make its way into other models. Now I do have a video specific on this high definition Phoenix radar and if it's gonna make its way onto the Model Ys, Model 3s and the rest of the lineup. I'll drop that link in the description below and up top there. You guys can learn more about that and why it's so critical to the system and then why it's not. All right, and then moving down the list, we have Hardware 4 was introduced earlier this year and it came with the high definition cameras although it was housed inside of the exact same unit. We don't know at this point if it eventually be populated again or not, but for now, this is what it is, and it seems like they've stuck with the same design even for the newer models. For the final one, they originally previewed the Model 3 Highlands with a front bumper camera, and then right before delivery happens, they removed it off the car and only shipped the Cybertruck with this system. So within this one year, they made so much changes to the sensors, we really can't even keep track of it but we now start to wonder if the front bumper camera is really needed. Well, the good news is we are okay for now. A recent patent filed by Tesla going into all the details of their vision-based system has confirmed that all except the front bumper camera will be used for object detection. This means that for now, the Cybertruck's exclusive front bumper with its heated and washing module will be strictly used for viewing angles and off-roading. Now, it's not to say that the front bumper camera is not gonna be greatly beneficial to the overall system, its high definition camera and line guidance is going to be greatly beneficial when you try to park forward. However, as the patent specifically describes, this front bumper camera is not going to be used for object detection. That means that FSD beta and even the new high fidelity park assist is not going to make use of it. So really, however this plays out in the future, if Tesla does decide to activate it and use it for FSD beta and for parking, you should be good to go for now knowing that your system and the Cybertruck system is going to perform exactly the same when this holiday update arrives. All right, now with all that being said, here is my final thoughts. I believe that the Model S and X with the Phoenix radar is going to be very similar to what's happening with the Cybertruck and the front bumper camera. It's going to be used for data collection and testing. And until Tesla has confirmed that it is beneficial to the overall system, they would just leave it off of the other vehicles. And when it does arrive, Tesla will already have the software and the hardware ready for those other models. Now, of course, if you guys have been following my channel from the beginning, you know how I feel about the overall Tesla Vision system. Tesla knows that we need a front bumper camera. I know that we need a front bumper camera. Pretty much the whole world knows that we need a front bumper camera to cover that blind spot. It's going to start with the Cybertruck and then the Model 3 Highlands in North America and eventually to all other models in its lineup. The potential and the features that the single camera can add is huge. Things like Smart Summon, Auto Park, and 360 Bird's Eye View is all possible once they add this single front bumper camera there. So yeah, to keep things simple, the new parking system is amazing, but it can be so much more amazing if it comes with that front bumper camera. Depending on when Tesla drops the update, it could be on Friday night at midnight, which is today, or tomorrow midnight. You might be hearing me mix up past tense and present tense 
friends the update hasn't gone out when I recorded this video I will be pushing it out tomorrow so it could have already been out and if it has been try it out and let me know your guys's opinion I'm super excited for this replacement to Tesla vision using the occupancy network I'm gonna keep you guys as updated as possible on all of this so make sure you guys stay updated hit that subscribe button if you guys haven't done so already as well as that notification bell and hit me up on Twitter at hey John e that's where you guys can chat with me DM me and I have a bunch of cool stuff to share with you guys way before I upload a video here so yeah this should wrap it up for this one I hope you guys enjoyed it this is John once again peace out